My project is comparing interpolation methods for precipitation over the island of Oahu in Hawaii. This IDW interpolation map shows the bullseye pattern around the pink climate stations. IDW includes accurate values at the stations and nearly accurate values in the immediate vicinity of the stations, but moving away from the immediate vicinity shows another story. I do not believe precipitation or dry spells take place in such compact events. Notice that the location of the stations are on the periphery of the high values in blue or the low values in brown. Spline is creating a rubberized surface which assumes more or less rain than is actually measured. While the rain distribution appears more realistic than IDW, it is hard to imagine bone dry conditions seen in the eastern mountain region to be surrounded by rain, which has been recorded for over a period of a month. This Krigging map appears to be a good visual representation of precipitation over the island. The pattern of rain is consistent with literature that states the eastern ranges of the island receive precipitation from the trade winds, and the western half of the island experiencing a rain shadow effect. Unfortunately, the interpolation values do not accurately represent measured values. This map is a 3D drape of IDW values, with the station's field values and geospatial locations, seen in pink, indicating points of accurate precipitation measurements. IDW includes field measurements for its ground points from which the interpolation is performed. For this reason, I am using IDW as a comparative standard to see how the other models deviate from accurate field measurements. The spline interpolation seen in blue has exaggerated high and low values outside the range of IDW values. In essence, this is the rubberized sheet accounting for possible values outside of the range of those collected. The pink station values intersect the spline but are not found at its peaks or at its valleys. These peaks and valleys may or may not be accurate and further field measurements would need to be acquired to confirm the correctness of the interpolated values. The creaking interpolation seen in green takes on a more subtle averaging of the measured values. Since the geostatistical nature of the creaking process searches out a geospatial trend, it is possible that this creaking process has picked up on the trend of a westward trade wind causing orogenic rain over the changing elevation and the associated dryness that comes with the rain shadow effect. Maybe creaking's lack of incorporation of measured points can be excused for the fact that it is a predictive model and its prediction would satisfy literature's explanation of precipitation effects on Oahu.